What up, y'all, and welcome to a Zeus Jaws. In today's video, we'll be showing you guys a time lapse of a big acrylic doodle painting. And right now, we're laying down the pencil sketch, and I thought the best way to learn color theory and you know make the best of you know painting experience go with basic colors picked up from michael's and the liquid techs none of the stuff i use in this video is sponsored i just went to michael's because i knew i wanted to get new stuff for the painting it's a painting that my homie actually commissioned me to do so shout outs to him for you know inspiring me to branch out into bigger canvas and I have another video where I actually paint with acrylics for the first time and I'll put the link in the description below if you haven't seen that. But at any point if you like this video drop a like, drop a comment if you like what you see and don't forget to subscribe. But anyways, here we are. Decided to go with very bright colors. So there was a lot of white paint used in this. And I had the mix to make certain colors like purple and brown and like pink and stuff and some of that I actually had to look up on YouTube so this whole painting was basically an experimentation you know learning experience for sure it was definitely fun it actually inspires me to even to get an even bigger canvas but I already got other canvases that I need to finish and I'm really inspired to just make canvases that hang up on walls as you guys will see more towards the end of the video I'll show you guys what I mean by that, but here I am just painting away and I would say this painting probably took a little more than 10 hours. It was like a month where I left it and didn't do anything because I was kind of in the process of moving as you guys can see in this scene. This is a brand new room, got the hardwood floors and I'm just loving this brand new room, man. I got some of my art hung up right now. And like I said, as you guys will see, but, uh, what was I saying about this canvas? Oh, so pretty much a whole learning experience. And then here I am, you know, inking this in or not inking it in, but painting it with, you know, the line work, painting in the line work. There we go. And this was honestly my favorite part, just seeing it all slowly come together. Because, honestly, man, this painting shit just takes way longer than just whipping out the sketchbook and whipping out the colored pencils and, you know, laying it down on the sketchbook and creating some shit. That just, it's so easy to just put away colored pencils, you know, cap and uncap markers and pens and all that. But here, you gotta take the time to, you know, not let your paint dry out and you gotta keep your brush wet and whatnot you just gotta actually dedicate longer sessions and for me that was a little bit intimidating so i took a little bit longer than i should have on this painting but you know gotta get out of that comfort zone and sometimes it's intimidating but i honestly really like this and i'm more inspired to do even bigger canvases it's gonna be dope super pumped super pumped and I don't know, this doodle was pretty random. It was a bunch of random stuff. That's what the homie wanted. This crazy chaos that I usually do in my collages, random things. And like y'all know from my other videos, of course, there's gonna be food and you know, aliens and you know, roses and stuff. And I just wanted to throw in little silly things and make it look like the canvas was being ripped. And behind it, it looks like a notebook page which these doodles were drawn in so it kind of kill it kind of gives like a cool illusion and i really like how this whole thing turned out especially the colors i was actually a little nervous that you know in the end once the whole piece came together it would be kind of nauseating to look at all the colors but i mean this could be nauseating depending on you know who's looking at it or just really you know all perspective all about perspective and I'm, I personally really liked how the colors came out. I texted the homie and he was like, he loved it actually. And he said 
he likes all the crazy little random things so i'm actually super glad he he loved this piece i can't wait to see when he has it up on his wall right now it's just chilling on my wall and yeah man i'm definitely gonna be painting some more man you know what i'm saying man I was actually thinking about, you know, just talking the whole video or letting the music play. I was like, nah. I'm gonna just ramble the whole video. You're gonna have to watch me. Or watch me paint and just talk my... My ass off. At least for the time being. What is this video? Like 10 minutes? Yeah, this was pretty random. I'll just go through some of the doodles. We got this trippy chick right here you know she's got the swirly glasses you know she kind of reminded me of like Velma from or Daphne from Scooby-Doo for some reason I don't know why like a hippie Daphne and you got this gorilla right here randomly eating donuts you know maybe he has access through his eyes cuz I don't know how many donuts a gorilla can eat or has high blood pressure or something you know diabetes or whatever happens to a gorilla if he eats too many donuts. And here we got, of course, pizza, because pizza is life. Throwing a little doggy because dogs are dope. And we got a cat because, you know, if you're drawing a dog, you gotta draw a cat. And here we got some random flowers, and then we got those Mario flowers, and they straight chilling in this doodle right next to a bowl of ramen and a slug. Man, there's just a lot of crazy shit. And I, I, I actually really love how this turned out, man. Hell yeah. I don't even know what that little thing right next to the boat and the ramen noodle is supposed to be. I like sketched it out and then once I painted over it I forgot what it was. I think there was something that's supposed to be coming out of those Mario pipes or whatever. I forgot what it was so I kind of just made it look like a trash can with a blue bag over it as you'll see. And also like I said I was watching YouTube videos on how to mix certain colors to make other things like getting purple or brown and i watched this video because i knew what i wanted to do with the, the hands i wanted to make it look like it was holding the universe and like a ball and man this video made it look like all you needed to do was have a black background with already wet acrylic paint on it and then you just lay a drop or not too much paint of something like pink or blue and as soon as he freaking put the paint on the paper it looked like space mine just looked like shit i tried mixing it up a little bit and it looked like more shit so i don't know what the fuck happened there but i actually like how it turned out kind of gives it like a little scrapbook feel so this whole thing was an experiment even that was an experiment and i definitely need to practice some more on that to make some cool galaxy looking canvases because that would be some dope ideas i have some dope ideas that would go perfect with that but we'll get there when the time happens and here we are actually finishing this video up As you can see this canvas is practically done after 10 plus hours let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What's your favorite little character? What kind of things would you like to see in the next canvas? What should I paint next? Here, do a little zoom up. But of course, you know this painting isn't official until we add a signature. And the thing about signatures for me is I've never signed anything with paint, with a brush, paintbrush really. So this was definitely new and I feel like my signatures are always different. They're never the same. Kind of just spaz out with the hand when I do. As long as the J looks like a J kind of with a J and the line on the top. And then pretty much go from there. Thought I'd make it with an S for my last name and 20. So, but it turned out looking like 520. Minus 100 is 420. <laughs> and no bad joke. But anyways, this is S20, Jesus S20 for 2020. Oh yeah. Here, like I was saying, y'all, this is all the, this is my wall, the new studio. If you guys want a more in-depth studio tour, let me know in the comment section below. And here we got some paintings, actually getting some sketchbook drawings and framing them up. I actually love how they looking up. Look dope. 
Gotta get a frame for that one. And here's the canvas. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I like how that looks. That looks so dope on the wall for sure. Nice. Until next time, y'all. Keep creating. Keep it trail. Peace.